I'm Ruth Hazard. I work with UMass Extension in the vegetable program. Zoe, everything I want to get picked out of here, that looks even a little color. And if it's cracked, don't pick it because it might have spotted wing in it. Oh, yeah. Got it. I do a lot of work with integrated pest management, including a lot of different models that rely on temperature for disease and insect life cycles, outbreaks, and so on. So when I was approached by Larry Manier and Dan Kaplan um, to work on this project with them, I was very interested. Uh, about two years ago last June, I was uh, on an airplane had my copy of Wired and they had an article on wireless sensor networks. So I got interested and realized they would have application for farming and my daughter was assistant manager at Brookfield Farm at the time. He wanted to know if we thought they'd be useful on the farm. And so he, he bought one and he set it up and he showed us and then we just talked about whether it'd be useful and we said, well, maybe. This is a sensor in the field that will be in, uh, in various places around the farm. And uh, this tiny little chip right here is a temperature humidity sensor and it sits on top of our basic board which has a microprocessor and the radio. So the information when it comes into the computer then is immediately uploaded to the internet it's uploaded into like the cloud. That. We have a program called RT Cirrus that allows you to display all that information. Uh, what I bring is the experience using weather data and weather monitoring systems and some ways of reporting those data out that are useful for vegetable growers. So just kind of bringing another angle on how we can use the data that the wireless systems collect. I keep Larry grounded in the field of reality and give him some feedback about what worked and what didn't and help him figure out how to put it, put the sensors in such a way that you know, we don't run over them with tractors, things like along those lines. So I, I notice farmers tend to farm by the seat of their pants uh, by, based on experience. They, they know what works and so forth, but they haven't had a way of quantifying it. And Dan now for the first time is seeing some quantification, uh, particularly with regard to soil moisture and air temperature in microclimate kind of situation. Let's say temperature's gonna get down to 31 degrees and we wanna irrigate our peppers right when it gets to 33 so that we stop them from freezing. I used to just have to wake up almost every hour or two and just guess when the temperature would go down and drive out to the field. Now I can just, the sensor just sends an email right to my phone which gives me a little message that says the temperature just went below 33.5. Then I can get up and start the irrigation. So that saves me a lot of time. That's a really useful thing.